This is Claire Omni's Digipack analysis of Killer King's Cannibals with Cutlery. I'll start off by showing you the whole Digipack. I will put clearer um, photos attached to it on Blogger. Um, you can see here there's the cover of the Digipack, the side of it, so it's got the band's logo, the name and the name of the Digipack. On the inside cover you have all the production information just there. You have the CD here and then the reverse of the Digipack with all the track listings on there. We start with a text to image ratio. On the front, it's fairly self explanatory. The um, name of the album is called Cannibals of Cutlery and it has a dining set on here. You also have the logo um, of the band, the band name, and the DJ Pack name as well. Now we go to the inside cover. It's got um, all the band members here the lyrics and creation of the album, the production information, the album artwork, and the thank yous here. Um, so, friends, family, fans, manager, that kind of thing. And also the online information across the bottom. So, it's quite clear. Bright white writing on the dark background. Then, uh, on the printing on the CD. You've got, again, the logo and the names there. You might also um, notice that the printing around the side of the CD is the same as the plate on the cover. So that's um, a continuing theme throughout the um, digipack, which I feel is definitely a strength. Um, another continuing um, strengthening theme is the background. It's the dining table, and it is on every single surface um, of the digipack. Just there. Uh, we go to um, talk about the uh, the reverse of the digipack. You've got the track listings there again of that bright white writing, so it's very clear um, and e easy to read. And you've also got the barcode there. I do believe that one of the band's main strengths is their interaction with the audience. So one of their um, promotional ideas was um, that if you paid a little bit extra money when pre-ordering the album you could get not only signed copies as I have around here, um, you could also buy put the gig tickets and t-shirts and things like that as well. Um, another interaction with audience interaction on this particular digipack is the Twitter and Facebook information that is along here. It's again promoting the band's um, online presence which is how they came about really and how they um, got more well known. Whilst I feel the main strength of the, digi of the digipack are the continuing themes, it does have all the right information on there really. However, I do feel for audience interaction purposes and for the fans that maybe they could have had some lyrics and pictures of the bands um, in the digipack. So I've done that for them there. Um, and I, this is something which I definitely wish to include when coming to the creation of my group's digipack. And um, maybe a little booklet inside with all of that information in. And I would also like to adopt the continuing themes uh, throughout the digipack and also... Um, tie these into my website design and music video design as well.